What is going on guys? Gray here. Today I'd like to talk about the Rune Carver's Blaze set, which is going to be one of the new sets that's going to be a dungeon set in the Scribes of Fate DLC. Now, of course, I play here on console. I always try to keep up with all of the changes and kind of bring you guys some news about what you can expect when the DLC is released, especially if you're a console player like I am. And this was a really strong set to begin with. I still think it's going to be a good set once players figure out exactly how to use it with their current setups or maybe with some new setups but overall you kind of can see what the set did to begin with two items dealt 129 weapon and spell damage three items dealt 129 uh, weapon and spell damage four items gave you 1487 offensive penetration uh, five items your damage over time effects deal an additional 1106 flame damage on the third damage tick this damage scales off your weapon and spell damage and always applies the burning status effect now they have decided to go ahead and make some changes to this because everything that i had seen about this everyone was talking about how strong it was it was probably one of the better sets in the game damage wise so now they have changed to where the set will only activate on the third tick rather than the third tick of a dot effect they also have reduced the damage by 47 percent and you will no longer be guaranteed that burning uh, effect each tick so they expect these changes to go update, uh, go live in the update in a couple weeks. Of course, that'll be live on PC. And then, of course, when we get it here on console, that will be how the set is kind of set up now uh, that they have made these changes. I think overall, it's still going to be a really good set. There are some people talking about how one thing they don't like about it is it, it that is it's a lot uh, uh, piece of gear. So you're going to have a lot set on. A lot of people that are running trials nowadays kind of to optimize their true in-game set really like to run medium uh you know medium gear the other issue and i think this is probably going to be the biggest issue for some players is that you're looking at a set that has to always be active for this to work so you're going to have to have this on your body so if you're running this on your body you may not be running some of those other sets some of those other medium sets that you like on your body you're going to have to maybe get a couple body pieces and a couple uh, jewelry pieces because you're not going to be able to back bar this set uh, in order for it to work. You're not going to be able to get those dots if it is back bar. You're not going to be able to get the extra damage from it from all the different things it does. So I think this is going to be one thing that a lot of people don't like but I also think there's going to be some really good builds with this set going forward because I still think the damage overall is still going to be there. It's just going to be one of those things is, is how people decide to either implement it into their current build or make a completely new build with uh, the Rune Carver's Blaze and something else we have available. Over the last several years, we've got some really good sets here in ESO, whether it be dungeon sets or new open world sets that you can craft. And I think this is going to be another one in the list that people decide to maybe try out. I'm definitely interested in trying this out here on PS5 when the update comes out, because I think you could possibly, I'll have to get my hands on it to see, but possibly pair this with some other things in game and have some pretty good success. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.